Hey, I just wanted to make a video response to your video, babe. Do you like my wig? Now, I'm not transitioning anymore. I've actually done my big shop um, May of last year. I transitioned from August 08 to May of 09. And it started with me just stretching uh, my perms. And when I finally told my boyfriend that I thought I was going to go natural, I guess he didn't really believe me um, until I actually told him that I cut my hair off and he saw it. And he, you know, was like he was going to be supportive or whatever, but he didn't really say much. Um, I could tell when he saw my hair, though, he didn't like it, and he still doesn't. He doesn't like my texture. I'm 4A, 4B, very dry, very thick, very coarse hair. Where he, on the other hand, is more 3B, 3C. He has thick hair, but his strands are fine, and his hair does not tend to be dry. So his thing was, well, why don't I just perm it and get it cut into a short style? But I told him, I know, I know you better than that. <laughs> it's, it's not about really my texture, which it might be some, but it's about length. He likes, you know, long hair. He likes relaxed hair. Um, so what I've, I've been wearing extensions and weaves since I was like in seventh grade. I started with the ponytails and I moved up to like the braids and micro braids. Um, blue ends, sew ends, wigs, and then lace wigs. And like I told him, you know, I've been wearing extensions since before I met you, and so, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't care if it makes him happy. I would like to make him happy, but when it comes to my hair, we just, we just clash. We got two different views. Um, he really just does not like extensions. He prefers um, natural, but then he doesn't like, I would say if I had his hair type, if I had a different type of hair, I know that he wouldn't have a problem. Especially being the 4A, 4B, um, and everybody knows this, that is probably one of the least loved hair types except for the people who have it. Um, you know, you look on commercials and you see a lot of the, the mixed kids or the hair they have. You don't see highly textured, very dry 4A, 4B hair. And even if you do see some 4A, it's very, um, it's not the dry, kinky, coarse type. And it's usually 3B, 3C. And um, so I think that's most of the problem for me is that my hair type, I know if I had a different hair type, it would not be as big as a deal it is to him. But um, I, I tried to include him. Um, he doesn't really, he won't go into a beauty supply store with me. Not really. Um, you know, I kind of got to jag him in there. Um, I don't, I know he doesn't like being in there, so I don't try to, you know, help me pick out a wig or anything like that. But when I'm shopping online for my um, full lace wigs, I'm pretty much up to anything. I just, I like to change the texture. I like to change the colors, the look, whatever. So I'll kind of, you know, if I see one I like, I'll ask him, you know, do you like this? You know, he'll say yes, no. He's just really not that into hair like I am. He he does, does, doesn't like extensions, but he's like, well, as long as I can't see tracks or I can't see this or, you know, it's not obvious, whatever. But he, I can say he does not like them. He prefers, you know, like I said, long, relaxed hair. But like I told him, I don't have long hair and I no longer have relaxed hair, so, you know, it's whatever. So, um... I love these for transitioning, um, especially the full lace wigs and just even regular beauty shop wigs because you could change your length, you could change your texture, your style, your color, whatever. And at the same time, you don't have to manipulate your hair a lot. So um, I really like it. Um, like I said, this is a great protective style that I've been using. I started with lace fronts when I started transitioning. So. It's been a little over a year for me that I've been using the lace wig, and I just keep my hair cornrowed under here. Um, like I said, I did the big chop. Um, so I kind of feel like the same, I guess, with transitioning because my hair is so short. Um, I'm not comfortable with wearing a, a TWA or anything. And I know with transitioning, you know, there's only so many styles, and mostly everybody says twist, braid out, braids, twist like that. So I would definitely, you know, if you're getting tired of it or you don't feel comfortable wearing the same style or you just, you know, st st <laughs> you're challenged when it comes to styles or anything like that, 
But I would definitely say do, you know, do whatever makes you happy. It's great to do protective styling because it keeps you out of your hair. It keeps you from manipulating your hair. And it'll get you some growth. Um, so basically, you know, um, it is shallow if a man is solely with you because of your hair. Um, because this, for one, it's just shallow. You know, then obviously that's not really a good person for you to be with. For two, there's so many wigs and extensions and different types of hair and stuff out there. You you can go buy the type of hair, you know what I'm saying, a person likes. So if they don't like your hair, you can go buy it. You know, if someone doesn't like straight hair, you can go buy you some curly hair. You got curly hair and you don't like it, you can buy you some straight hair. So, you know, it's whatever. And it, a lot of people just don't like extensions. So... I guess my boyfriend, he would be one of them, or he doesn't like bad extensions for sure. Nobody likes bad extensions. Um, but anyway, I hope I answered your question. You know, just do whatever makes you happy. Do what makes you comfortable with. And, you know, try to work with him a little bit. Um, like I do, I'll ask him, you know, do you prefer me in dark colors? Do you prefer me in solid colors? You're never going to catch me with a blonde weave in my head. Maybe something like this with very subtle, very few blonde highlights. But you're not going to catch me rocking no yellow gold red blue mm -mm. that's not me i like to keep it as natural as possible now i might have some fun hair where i might have like some white tips or something like that where i might you know lighten them up occasionally you know dye them like purple or pink or something like that but i'm not just gonna have a full weave wig whatever that's just blonde or red or something like that i like to try to keep mine you know, pretty natural looking as well. Um, so like I said, it's up to you. Um, if you want to try to include him in it, if he doesn't want to be included in it at all, you know, just kind of ask him, well, you know, what kind of colors or what kind of tones do you think you would like on me? Um, it's, it definitely should not be that big of an issue um, if they really care about you and they really want to be with you. And you know, then also look at the relationship. How long have y'all been involved? If it's been some years, we've been together for five years. So he, we're pretty much grounded in our ways, you know, and he knows how I feel about my hair. If this is somebody that you haven't been with that long, then you know, you might say, well, I don't even want to waste my time with this person. If it's someone you've been with, but you know, they're pretty much like, it's not a big deal to them, then y'all can get past it, you know? Um, but I say do what makes you happy. Um, if you want a protective style, it's your hair. A lot of men don't understand what women have to go through <laughs> to get their hair fixed. Especially, like you said, his is cut off. You know, you can't just get up every morning and brush your hair down and walk out the door. So I say do what makes you happy. You're the one doing your hair. And you're the one who has to live with it. So I hope I answered your questions. And I tried not to ramble too much. So, um, bye.